12 forecast. Well, if you like cooler temperatures and you do not like humidity, you're going to really like the forecast for the weekend. We'll talk about that weekend forecast in just a minute. First, let's get you the updates on the tropics. Things getting very active here in the Atlantic. Check this out. Not one, not two. Four systems that the National Hurricane System is, the National Hurricane Center is tracking. Now, this piece here, this piece of energy has a 10% chance of turning into a tropical cyclone over the next few days. So not overly concerned with that, but of course we'll be talking a lot about Florence in this broadcast. This is Tropical Depression 9 and this is Tropical Storm Helene that actually formed overnight off the coast of Africa. So a lot of action here in the Atlantic. We're going to talk mostly about Florence now because that could have impacts along the United States East Coast into next week. In fact, I think it will. The scenario that it curves out to sea seems to be fairly unlikely at this point, although it's not completely off the table. Right now, winds of 65 miles an hour movement to the west at 9 miles an hour. We are expecting it to strengthen back into a hurricane this weekend, and you can see the forecast from the National Hurricane Center has it going into a major hurricane offshore from their Carolinas by the time we get towards the middle of the week. So notice the timestamp here. This is Wednesday. So even if this were to make an impact here in southern New England, which I don't think it will, we would still have plenty of time to watch it. It wouldn't be towards the end of until towards the end of next week where that would happen. And there are still, like you can tell on this plot, a lot of different scenarios that could happen. This is a spaghetti plot kind of showing you the different um, setups that could happen as the storm passes on through. Most of them clustering around the Carolinas up through Virginia. You can see a few do recurve out to sea, but what I do think will happen is high pressure kind of forces this off to the west and sends it somewhere across the east coast of the United States. So yes, there is a slight risk here in southern New England. I think at this point that risk is fairly low. What we do know is that the storm will re-strengthen this weekend and then it will be near the east coast, somewhere near the east coast by the uh, middle to the end of next week. So our potential impacts, I think we at least get some rip currents and high surf. Remember, even when these storms are down towards the Carolinas, we can still get that wave energy moving into southern New England. So that is likely, but in terms of more serious impacts, wind damage, storm surge, things like that, uh, the chance of that happening is fairly low, but we'll be keeping a close eye on that as we head into next week. 62 is our temperature right now in Smithfield, 66 Providence, 65 Newport, and 67 in Westerly. Cumberland sitting at 63 degrees with high pressure trying to drive in this drier air. Now, one of the issues is we have a boundary uh, sweeping across portions of New England that is creating some clouds and a few showers offshore. So there could be one or two sprinkles along the coast this morning. This is 10 o'clock in the morning. I think the clouds hang tough for a good part of the day, but by the afternoon, afternoon, we'll get some sunshine, especially for inland spots. So it's not a bad Saturday out there. And then for tomorrow, of course, we have the Pat's home opener. This is around kickoff time. Wouldn't be surprised to see some high thin clouds spreading across the skies, but nothing that would ruin the game. Not that they wouldn't play anyway. They tend to play football in all kinds of weather, unless, of course, there's lightning. Not expecting that tomorrow. Temperatures today, 69 by noontime, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 72. Breezes out of the northeast at 5 to 15 miles an hour. On average, temperatures in the low 70s today from Smithfield down to Providence, Newport, and Westerly. So uh, that means it'll be comfortable today. A little bit on the cool side tonight. If you're heading out to Water Fire, we're starting things in the low 60s, dipping down into the 50s by late in the evening, and maybe outside of Providence, the 40s into the early parts of Sunday morning. At the beach this weekend, of course, use caution. Lifeguards no longer on duty. 72 Saturday, 69 Sunday. So it's cooler tomorrow. So a fall-like day there for Pat's tailgaters and people going to the game. Showers on Monday. It does get warmer by the middle of the week. Tuesday, 85. It'll get more humid, too, for the middle of the week. And then, of course, we'll be watching potential impacts from Florence towards the end of next week. But plenty of dry time this weekend, so a great weekend to get outside, Pete. Absolutely. Very comfortable. Yeah. You don't need to use that air conditioner on overtime, which will be nice. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Pete. Yep. Covering New England now, several people.